I am so confused. I feel like there are a lot of inside jokes here that I'm just missing because I'm not... <laughs> not like a viewer. High protein vegan day of eating plus snack taste test. This is by Will Tennyson. I stumbled upon this in the last video. I did. It came up when I searched diet on YouTube. <laughs> Catered towards me, obviously, but yeah, I don't think he is a vegan YouTuber. I was not familiar with him at all, but when you go to his channel, um, yeah, the, I don't see a whole lot of vegan in the titles. That's literally all I'm going by, but <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's a vegan YouTuber, which is even more interesting to me, honestly. I want to see uh, what he comes up with. Okay, so he's done vegan stuff before, trying vegan fast food options, vegan for a week, followed my girlfriend's vegan diet. Okay, so he's probably, oh no, I tried the fruitarian diet. <laughs> oh no. Oh, only three days. Okay. I could barely handle one and I did it for years. <laughs> Vegan and budget-friendly meal options, meal prep ideas. Yeah, okay, so he's done a lot of vegan stuff. Cool. Hey mom, where are your uh, fur coats? Fur coats? For what? Um, I just need it for something, for a video. Oh, well, they're upstairs in my closet, but be careful. <laughs> Okay. I mean, I get it. Ha ha ha. He's going to put paint on the coats. I don't want to be one of those vegans, but like fur is awful. But also if someone already has fur coats, like please don't ruin them. Let them wear the coats <laughs> instead of having to replace them. Did Cruella DeVille just totally ruin fur coats for people? Because to me, like growing up with 101 Dalmatians, like fur coat is villain, right? Like if you're wearing a fur coat, like you're bad. You're like a crazy rich person who wants to kill puppies for their fur, right? Like that, that's that's what that's what it means to wear a fur coat. So there are a number of stereotypes out there that, you know, you can't build muscle on the vegan diet, you can't get enough protein on the vegan diet, and the protein that you do get is compromised compared to animal protein. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys that is not the case. And just with a little bit of creativity, you have no excuse not to make some gains on the vegan diet. A diet is all about sustainability, and that usually means cost, level of enjoyment, and difficulty. To me, it's none of those things. It's whether or not I can have coffee, and vegans, they can have coffee, so maybe one day I can be plant-based. Okay, yeah, so he's not vegan. Yeah, that's true. Vegans can have coffee. Speaking of, I forgot my second cup. That's why I'm so sleepy. So we're making a maca bowl. So maca, also known as Peruvian ginseng, is an aphrodisiac, so again, it might be hard to keep it completely meatless today. Uh, in this bowl, we're going to be adding a plant-based source of protein. So just... Is he talking about dicks? Is he talking about sex? Am I an idiot? And then these things right here that look to be kangaroo balls are actually just some kiwis. How do you know what kangaroo balls look like? He doesn't sound Australian, so... And now his shirt's off. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, he's making a, a, a smoothie, a very expensive smoothie. <laughs> Carolina and maca and berries and hemp seeds, uh, you know, not denigrating it by saying it's expensive. I also tend to make expensive smoothies with my Kite Hill Greek yogurt and hemp seeds as well. This stuff is actually pretty crazy. So for six grams, which is two teaspoons, 20 calories is pretty much all protein. Four grams of protein, only one gram of carb and zero fat. Yeah, but you have to eat spirulina. Okay, so that's an interesting idea. He's putting a puffed quinoa on top. He's just toasting the quinoa a little bit and putting that on top for a little extra protein. That's a good idea. And some crunch too, right? So it's not all just soft, liquidy smoothie bowl stuff. You can tell I'm not a smoothie bowl fan. <laughs> That's not true. I make like banana ice cream, which is basically a smoothie bowl, right? Just more frozen. Man, that is so much spirulina. Oh my God. No, thank you. <laughs> I saw some uh, silk plant milk in there, which means fortified calcium. Awesome. Did he just hide to lick the tamper. Is that a newer like Vitamix? Is that what they look like now? What is that tamper? That seriously looks weird. I mean, not like a penis. I've never seen a penis that looks like that, but it somehow looks more phallic. I'll show you what the old one looks like because I've had my Vitamix forever. But look at the color of this thing. Like I just put a zombie in here so they mashed it up. Okay, so he's just putting the hemp seeds right on top. Oh man, that's that's a lot of hemp seeds just to put on top. Yeah, 20 grams of hemp, hemp hearts. That's like two tablespoons. Ooh. 47 grams of protein. I would have loved to throw a banana into that base, but unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, just unfortunately in this situation, I hit an OnlyFans PR this morning, so it couldn't, it couldn't make it to the base. And I wonder if Walden Farms is vegan, but I feel like just consuming it with the amount of chemicals, that's animal cruelty itself. I am so confused. I feel like there are a lot of inside jokes here that I'm just missing because I'm not, <laughs> not like a viewer. That is sensational. 
Quinoa gives you a little bit of a crunch. Nothing crazy, it doesn't break your teeth. Great healthy meal. I don't know how many people are gonna be as excited about the, the spirulina. <laughs> he knows a lot about nutrition. I love that we're seeing more people who are into like weightlifting, even bodybuilding, stuff like that, um, because they seem to have a better grasp. And look, that you know, it's funny to say because there are lots of bros and girl bros, you know, who believe some pretty nutty stuff about nutrition. But overall, it's a lot better than what at least used to be more typical on like YouTube, like vegan YouTube with the low fat, high carb, that sort of stuff and not really caring so much about protein. Yeah, so I'm very excited to see more weightlifting type of people uh, doing vegan and showing how it can be done in a high protein way. So he's talking about Louis Hamilton. I guess he's an F1 Formula One racing. Is that what the, that's what that is, yeah. And he went plant-based a couple years ago, went vegan a couple years ago. So he's following his workout routine. And one thing that Lewis Hamilton did say is that he wished he started a plant-based diet sooner, but he doesn't regret how he transitioned. So he actually became pescatarian before he came fully vegan. So that's what he recommends to most people. So don't think you have to go completely cold turkey, plant-based, not the way to do it. It's really hard, you might not be able to stick to it. I think most vegans talk about now. I don't I don't think you hear so much the go vegan right now stuff anymore. I mean, you do, but then at least what I've seen when someone says, talks about transitioning or asks about transitioning, it's like, yeah, sure, transition. You know, I think there are very few hardcore, just like, no, once you know, do it, or you're garbage. If you're used to eating animal products, three times a day or more, that's a lot of food that you have to replace, right? And that's kind of a lot to do at once. And if you're not familiar with cooking, if you're not used to cooking, that's another thing that you're, you're gonna have to learn. I mean, you don't have to, you could live on vegan convenience foods. There's a lot of vegan protein options now. So you could still eat a fairly healthy diet, eating like the, the vegan frozen meals and stuff. There's some, oh my God, we had one, I think I had it in one day today, but it was a purple carrot bowl with um, Gardein meatballs. That was super, super yummy. So yeah, if you have the money, <laughs> you can spend like a thousand dollars a month on food for yourself, then yeah, sure. I guess you don't really have to cook. And obviously they're like smoothies, which you don't cook, you know, but I think most of us don't have the money for that or don't want to do that. So yeah, you're going to have to learn how to how to cook at least some things and doing that along with learning about veganism and vegan nutrition. Yeah, it can just be a lot, a lot at once. All right. So I think this is lunch tempeh, excellent source of protein, nutritional yeast, excellent source of protein. It's very popular in vegan cooking, adds a cheesiness to it. And it's a very good source of B12 because a lot of vegans have to supplement with B12 because you can get very deficient in that. Does not look delicious. Hey guys, up here, okay, my face. So now it's time to display it all up. I honestly was not looking at the, the weird titty apron. <laughs> Very proud of myself. He definitely has down the, uh, the what I ate today style, the music and everything, right? It's weird, like, I don't know, I guess I haven't watched a lot of what I ate today's from, from men. I've seen a lot from women and, and like mostly vegan what I ate today's, but it's got the music and everything. So that's what I associate that sort of royalty free background music with food. Like I associate it with, you know, like skinny, pretty, like vegan women. And then it's, it's this guy. I don't know. Every time it goes to him, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm not watching some vegan YouTuber, you know? So yeah, it, it keeps, uh, I don't know, keeps kind of throwing me. I'm talking just a heap tablespoon right on top. And it adds such a nice component to this dish. You guys got to try this one out. I'm sorry. It looks so gelatinous. That is not what yogurt is supposed to look like. So he made some savory oats with uh, tempeh bacon on top and kale and mushrooms. Very healthy, very healthy dish. And that gelatinous coconut yogurt on top. <laughs> Nothing beats the oat yogurts though, in terms of starchy gelatinous. Oh man. And if you wanted more protein, you could use a soy yogurt instead of a coconut yogurt if you wanted. So yeah, great, healthy meal, another very high calorie meal. I think a lot of us ladies, if we were making something like that, probably a smaller portion, maybe not, you know, it depends on your goals and age and all that kind of stuff. And of course I don't have to say, like you don't need my comments on whether or not I would eat that. Of course I would not. It's got mushrooms in it. It's got tempeh in it. It's savory oats, which is weird. I'm not vegan, but I, I will actually eat this every single day. It's that good. Like you would swear that tempeh bit is a hog. You know what I'm saying? Like, is he being serious or is he, you know, because a lot of what he says is tongue in cheek. I mean, I like his style. He doesn't laugh after his obvious jokes. 
Um, but it also can make it a little different, difficult because it's like, well, okay, but is the whole thing a joke? Because no, he does not really think that tempeh tastes like pork. You know, I don't believe that for a second. So it's kind of like, does he actually like this? Is this actually good? Or you know what I mean? I don't know. That was all one serving. Okay. So the oats, half a cup, nutritional yeast. Yeah, that's fine. But then did he eat all of that tempeh? It must be less than that. According to chronometer, eight ounces of tempeh is 46 grams of protein. Yeah. It doesn't look like that's all the tempeh. So I'm assuming he used like half or maybe less. So, okay. That's not as expensive. Okay. So now we're getting to the taste test, going to Whole Foods, getting some snacks. Cool. Taste test with his mom. Aw. She's joining me to try some protein bars because she's a protein bar connoisseur. You I say? definitely am. Yeah. So yeah. all of these things are so far out of the protein bar kingdom. To yes. me. You know what I mean? Like a lot of them don't look remotely like it's something I'd be putting in my body. There doesn't seem to be like an ounce of chocolate happening here. Yeah. It kind of looks like a, a vegan burger patty with some like corn floating around. Yeah. 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 It's 220 calories, 11 grams of plant-based protein. I really like it. But I wouldn't, I don't know that I would have it because it's only 12 grams of protein and I would prefer to have more for 220 calories. That's what I'm saying. The vast majority of the vegan protein bars are just, they're just not comparable in terms of amount of protein per calorie. The only one that, that comes close is the one I buy because <laughs> the only one is the Nugo uh, Slim. I like their Slim Mint Bars. It's very low sugar, so obviously lowers the calories. And yeah, it's like seven going on? It's like 17 grams of protein in 180 calories. Hemp energy bar. So I don't know who would ever buy that based on the packaging, the color, a yeah. hemp bar. Yeah. You put hemp on something. Like I know I said I use hemp hearts, but any sort of hemp based product, hemp protein powder or hemp bar. No, that shit is going to taste like dirt. I actually just saw a shark tank. Oh, what were they called? I can't remember, but they make a, um, a plant-based burger that is like hemp based. I think it's very, very expensive. And they say they're like the Wagyu beef or whatever, like the expensive beef, but that was made from hemp and the, the sharks seem to like really like it. It looks good too. Like it, it looks good at first when it started, it's like, Oh God, you know, cause we always skip the, you know, I don't want to hear about your fucking mac and cheese bar or whatever. The fuck. <laughs> like, I don't care. No. So we usually skip it. But then one of the owners, I think said something plant-based. It's like, what? Oh shit. Is that a vegan burger? Cool. This is quite devastating to your macros, I will say. So this is 250 calories. And this is not a big cookie, yo. And how much protein? Um, this is seven grams of protein only. Seven? Yeah, that's an incredible calorie challenge ammo. Calorie challenge ammo? Does he do the calorie challenges? Eating 10,000 calories in a day or whatever? Seven, ooh, that's, man. Yeah, that's, that's pretty weak. I bet it's good though. I can make a seven gram protein bar that is absolutely delicious. No problem. Oh, it's actually quite good. It tastes like it, there's something missing though. Like no, no, like it's, no, no, it's quite nice. No, it's, it's just like, no, your opinion's wrong. It's good. I can't remember if I've tried the Daya. I feel like I did, but it was so long ago. I don't, there's so many damn yogurts. There's so many plant-based products. I, I forget everything runs together. If I don't make a damn taste test, I just have no idea. I'll just ask partner. He remembers everything. I'm sure he remembers whether or not we tried it and whether or not I liked it. Five out of 10. No, eight. I liked it. 240 calories, 10 grams of protein, 15 grams of sugar. Is this cardboard? See, that's the worst. When you have a protein bar that's not even a protein bar and it still tastes like shit. Like, what the hell? Come on, there's no excuse for that. You can make a really delicious, you know, 200 to 250 calorie vegan protein bar that's only like 10 grams or whatever protein and have it taste like so delicious, right? It's not gonna be great in terms of protein, but oh my God, that many calories and it tastes, no. I can't remember the name of the brand, but it was in one of those vegan like boxes. Um, when I was visiting my dad, he got one, this cookie, this like chocolate protein cookie. Again, it had like a picture of a scroll of a scroll on it. That's all I remember, but it was so good. It wasn't like the, the Larry and Larry and David, Larry David, no. Wait a minute, the vegan protein cookie that they sell in stores um, that tastes like absolute garbage in my opinion. It is disgusting. It just tastes like protein powder. It is so gross. This is really good. It's not great in terms of protein, but it is so tasty because it's like predominantly peanut butter. So it's got this terrific texture. Oh my God, it is so good. So yeah, if I'm eating something that has some protein, but not, you know, if I'm really going for a protein bar, not so much, it better be so delicious. 
you know what I mean? Like the Nugo, like the, the pretzel, the chocolate pretzel ones that are, you know, I think they're like 10 grams of protein in 200, something like that. So like, you know, okay, but absolutely delicious. Like that is a candy bar. It's a candy bar. I don't think I've tried like any of these. Going by his accent, it sounds like he's in Canada, right? And it's cold and the Canada goose thing. Um, I'm assuming they're in Canada, so they probably get some, some different stuff. But then again, also he went to Whole Foods and I don't go to Whole Foods, so yeah. Barbecue lentil treats. That's a great idea. So this is something that we had recently. We got from nuts.com. They have these like popped lentils and it's just nice, crunchy, oily, salty lentils. I made some at home, just, you know, taking a bunch of lentils, getting them as dry as I can, putting salt and oil. I think that's all I did, just salt and oil and put them in the oven and bake them all up and they're really good but they are they don't get that nice crunchy texture that the that the nuts.com ones get they've been sold out forever which is why i tried to make my own uh because tiny baby loves them <laughs> loves them so much they'll pretty much eat any bean though anyway uh, i tried to make my own and they are good but they're definitely different the texture it's more of a chewy kind of thing which i i like it's weird it's weird, but they're they're good. They're they're addictive. Time to cook some dinner. So we are making some kitchery, which is a one pot rice and lentil dish. It's gonna be very very a very untraditional. I'm just gonna warn you right now. And then on the side, we are gonna make an air fryer tofu. Super super simple. Dang it, my dad just got an air fryer too. So like everyone I know has an air fryer, and they're just talking about how amazing it is, how much they love it. So. I'm gonna have to get one eventually. So this whole entire pot and half of the tofu is 890 calories, 59 grams of protein, guys. Getting your protein on vegan, it's easy. Now that looks delicious. That is absolutely something I would eat. Lentils and barley and the tofu, the, the air fried tofu, which I need to try. I would probably eat that same amount of tofu, but just cut the barley and lentil. Portion. Cut that down by by a half or so because that's a lot of calories. Now I'm sure he eats like 3,000 plus calories a day. I'm not that lucky. These are probably some of the best dishes I've ever made on this channel. It's delicious. Like so, fun fact about kitchery is it's actually a very common baby's first solid food, which I could kind of understand because it's the easiest thing I've swallowed in a while. So with breakfast, lunch, dinner, and not including the snacks. We are at 151 grams of protein for the day. So, I mean, that already is enough protein for me. You don't need to have crazy amounts. Oh, what's this? Oh, is it a cookie dough? Oh, okay. I thought that was like sesame oil. I got real confused. Yeah, okay, he's making a chickpea cookie dough. Wow, that's a lot though. Gigi Hadid's cookie dough recipe. So it's not completely vegan. I swapped out the honey for some Walden Farms. I definitely needed my daily dose of chemicals. What is the Walden Farms thing? What am I missing here? Oh, that's good. That's, no, that's great. Oh, I see. It's like calorie-free sauces and stuff. No calories, fat, carbs, gluten, or sugars of any kind. Wait, totally calorie-free Alfredo sauce? Oh, God. I haven't tried it. Maybe it's delicious. Like, what the fuck is even in it, though? This is just gonna go on until we're done with the video. I'm sorry. Wow, I bet that is... It's just all water, vinegar, stabilizers, and like, you know, cellulose, xanthan gum, vegetable fiber to give it some sort of texture or something. It is a little runny, but actually tastes really good. Works almost anything I eat, has zero calories. Very happy I found this item. So this is over a thousand calories, but 42 grams of protein. And you want me to go in first or? A thousand calories? This is a thousand calories in here. Without the honey? Without the honey, yeah. This is with Walden Farms. Yeah, we're using Walden Farms. This is over a thousand calories. Definitely a novelty component to that thing. It tastes like hummus. Let me see what uh, recipe he did. I actually like chickpea cookie dough. Can of chickpeas, quarter cup peanut butter, quarter cup honey, quarter cup regular oh, oats. Okay, interesting. Salt mix. That's about how I make it. You definitely need to add chocolate chips in there. My partner does not like it either. They're just like, no, it tastes like chickpea. It's weird, but. I like it. Kids like it. I don't make it very much because it's not even worth it. Like it's so high calorie. I might as well just eat actual cookie dough. So I had a lot more of that chickpea cookie dough than I'd like. I'd say I had around like 500 calories worth. So that's not the best news, but that with the snacks I had earlier, I'm easily at around 180 grams of protein for the day, which is more than enough. And look guys, 
the muscles are still here. I don't look like Christian Bale from The Machinist. So, could I see myself going vegan? You know, I'll never say never, but as of right now, I can't see myself going fully plant-based. Uh, I am making a lot more of a conscious effort to cut back on the animal products I'm using. You know, veganism is not just a diet, it's a lifestyle. It doesn't come down to just the food that you eat, it's clothes that you wear, the stuff that you put on your skin. There are so many things that have animal products in it that we don't know about it. So we just take a second to look at the label and kind of cut it back. It will make the world such a better place. So Again, hard to tell exactly what's what's genuine and what's not, but I think that was genuine. He was honest about the, the chickpea cookie dough, so I think he did really like those meals. You know, maybe maybe he exaggerated a little bit. I mean, they looked good. His plating. I don't know if I said that, but for the the second one in particular, the um, the savory oats with the tempeh bacon, like that was beautiful. Before he put the gelatinous coconut yogurt on top, which is not his fault. That's you know he didn't make the yogurt, but uh, before he put that on top, like that's a beautiful. Plate. I wish I knew how to do that because oh my god, <laughs> I do not. <laughs> You've seen my what I ate today. Is... Okay, and I guess my audio. I don't know what happened, but anyway, that's my cue, I guess, to to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want. Support the channel, Patreon.com/slash/UnnaturalVegan, and I will have a new video hopefully soon. waiting for my computer to calm down. <laughs> nope. <laughs> he was thinking about it. Changed his mind.